drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos welcome back and thanks for joining me in lesson 3.1 of pinyin exercises this lesson is designed for you to practice your pinyin and see if you have understood pinyin fully so there will be a series of listening speaking reading and writing exercises okay first let's take a look at your reading and speaking ability first one how do you pronounce the pinyin below okay take a guess and i will review the answer in three seconds okay this is the the next one how do you pronounce it this is pan okay the next one how do you pronounce this this is tong what about this one ko this one this is ru what about this one chui this one jue this one chu chu you are halfway through just another eight of them then you'll finish with reading and speaking practice what about this one this is tzu. the next one how do you pronounce this this is xiao what about this one this is you okay i hope you didn't pronounce this as you because whenever your sound is paired with wow you is always you so this is pronounced as you what about this one this is lu okay what about this one this should be very obvious this is lu lu is different from the one previous which is lu okay there's differences between lu and lu what about this one this is c what about this one this is s i hope you noticed the difference so the 14 is c 15 is s what about this one this is tui tui okay so that's all the exercises we have for reading and speaking and now i'm gonna sound out these pinyin and see if you can write out the pinyin of these sounds okay the first one is pow pow can you write out the pinyin okay it's written like this one the second one is zuan zuan can you write out the pinyin? Okay, it is that you end, zun. And what about this one? Xian, xian. Can you spell out the pinyin? Okay, it is this one. Remember the I group a wow over here is always goes with the letter x and the next one is 
最最 What is the pinyin of this? Okay, it's spelled like this. The next one is chu chu. Have you got it right? Is this one? And then the next one, jie jie. Did you get it? It's spelled as this. And the next one is zhe zhe. You got it. It's spelled as this. What about the next one? Zhe zhe. Okay, hope that's simple. This this one. And so you're halfway through. Just another eight. The next one is lue. Lue. Can you get it right? Okay, it's bad as this. The next one is ju. Ju. Can you get it right? The next one is zu. Zu. Can you get it right? Okay, this is how it's spelled. And then the next one is Wang. Wang. So how do you spell it, Wang? I hope it's this. Number thirteen. One. One. Can you get it? Is this the next one? Is z z? Can you get it right? Okay, the second last z z. Can you get it? Is this finally is zuo zuo. Can you get it? The last one is this. Okay, hope you find it easy. And if you got some of the practice question wrong, I would suggest you to go back to the previous lesson and get yourself a refresher of that. This is important because you need to know how to sound out the pinyin. It will be used in the future lectures. And the next one. I will teach you how to use Google tools to practice pinging. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next video.